Hey, what's up everybody? This is part two. The video got cut out, so instead of making a whole new video attached to the original one, I'm just gonna do two parts. So basically where I left off at, I was comparing Theta Fuel, right? If you haven't seen part one, definitely watch that so that this video will make sense. Basically, I was comparing the Theta Fractal over here on part one and going over a lot of other different things. And then I led into um, basically looking at the price of Theta, right? And talking about this type of structure where you, you know, you come down, you form a base, and then you come up into this sort of uh, ascending channel, right? And it seems like it's bearish, but it's actually a bullish uh, pattern because it's a running flat. So when I compare the two side by side, you can kind of see that, um, right? You have this top in here. Um, this is this is Bitcoin, by the way, comparing it to the price of Theta Fuel. So we have this top in here, top, right? We come down, um, we come down right in here. We come down, then we come back up, right? We come down, we make we without taking out this low. And what's interesting about Theta Fuel is when you look at most of the other altcoins, they all took out the low, right? But Theta Fuel. It, it somewhat took out took it out but it was more of a liquidity grab right and it didn't even uh test the bull market support band yet so it's in a much different type of correction theta total three a lot of the other coins they kind of made a descending triangle and they broke down so kind of like an abc where running where theta fuels in an abc too but it's more of a uh, running flat so basically you have um sideways uh one two three four and go right you have sideways one two three right four and now we're in the process of going but we're in a correction right now so we could see you know some type of abc in here as long as we don't take out this low we're still good for this uh, fractal in here. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So here's another fractal um, that lines up with Bitcoin, or I should say uh, Theta Fuel. You can kind of see, you know, we came up, we made a top, we came out, we took the top out, right? Same here, we came up, we had a top, and then we took the top out, and then we came back down, and basically we came back down and now we're sort of, uh, you know, bull flagging in here. And same thing here, we came up and now we're bull flagging in here. So it's kind of interesting to see how that's shaping up. So I would give a, a little bit more time. It doesn't mean it's gonna shoot up like this today or tomorrow or even next week, but it's, you know, I would say let's give it some time. I think it's gonna look pretty good. So yeah, this should be, um, you know, dependent on Bitcoin, right? So let's go back to Bitcoin real quick. And, you know, what I, what I really wanted to talk about in Bitcoin before the video got cut out as well is, is basically going over, you know, something similar to what we saw before. So I'm going to bring up the line chart for this and basically, right, we came up, right, we have this sort of descending triangle, we came down, we did hit the bull market support band, you can't see it right on the line chart and the daily chart, but we did hit it, but basically right here, we're, start, we're starting to get stalled out and what I'm comparing that to is right here, so we can see this right in here. So I would imagine we're somewhere in here. So if the fractal is going to hold true, then we should start to, um, you know, base out a little bit and, um, you know, continue our, our rise to the upside. Um, so, you know, that's kind of what we're looking at. So real quick again, you know, we came up, we had this descending triangle, we came down, we hit the bull market support band. We developed this inverse head and shoulders, right? We came, you know, we had a V-shaped recovery. This thing came all the way up and met back up with the prior breakdown level. We corrected a little bit, then continued higher. So 
if you look at exactly what's happening with Bitcoin now, same type of thing. We came up, right, in this descending triangle. We broke down. We hit the bull market support band. We had a V-shaped recovery all the way back to where the breakdown level was. We have this sort of inverse head and shoulders type of working in here. So it looks like it's starting to form that shoulder now. So what we want to see is this thing get finished out. Maybe, maybe we hit back at 59 or 60K. As long as we hold above 59, 60K, I think we're good. I mean, there's always a, always a possibility we come down and retest the bull market support band right and kind of base out in here and that's another idea but according to the fractal right that's just one idea there could be different you know different things it's, it's not set on one thing but according to that fractal we should start to you know create a shoulder in here pull back a little bit you know maybe 61 60k area uh before then uh, hopefully taking off right and if we get this then we're gonna see the altcoins go crazy right probably not at first probably we'll see bitcoin go crazy then once it you know starts to break this top that's when we're going to see a lot of altcoins uh break their top as well so it should be interesting to see um so yeah that's kind of that's kind of where we are on that so you know that's basically one idea right we have that shoulder in here shoulder we continue higher the other idea is we come all the way back down and meet up with the bull market support band again and start to you know form a base in here maybe like an ascending triangle or another inverse head and shoulders or maybe a, a flat pattern or something that breaks us out and continues higher so you know if we do come all the way back down and deviate away from the fractal it's not a big deal because if you look at you know what you know basically the altcoins and I use theta as an example is we have our triangle we came all the way down right we came all the way back up but then we came all the way back down right so we have a low and then we have a higher low we tested the bull market support band tested the bull market support band so theoretically right if theta did that then and the total three and the rest of the alts then we hit it once, we can come all the way back down and hit it again before continuing higher. As long as we stay above this low and stay above the bull market support band, I think we are very, very, very bullish for this correction uh, to start wrapping up here. So again, you know, we've been talking about this correction for quite some time, saying the possibility of a rise, crash, retrace, reaccumulation, sideways breakout. So technically, we are going sideways with a deviation, with basically a liquidity grab down here, right? But it's also an A, B, C. So we have the best of both worlds, as I was saying in part one. So yeah, it's I think we're we're right on track here. So obviously, if things get nasty, then we can break down, and we would probably end up hitting fifty three between 50 and 53K. Let me put it back to the candles. Yeah, somewhere right in here, um, if it wanted to make another low. But, you know, it's looking pretty good right now. Uh, it's looking pretty decent. So now I'll, I'm gonna talk about, again, I didn't get to the small time frame on the other video. So now I'm gonna get that now. So when I go to the one hour chart, what do you see? Well, what I see, right? I mean, we were looking at this, um, or I was looking at this yesterday saying this. So we came up, right? We had a top, we pull back in a three wave move. Fair enough. We came all the way back up. We took out the top. It's looking good, but kind of corrective. Then we pull back and then we chop and then we took the top out. So basically we had one, two, three breaking the top then we quickly came back down what is that that is a flat right that is a running or an expanded flat right so basically we came down a b and now we're getting c so boom 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 so we know this pattern because i've taught it many times right this is a flat pattern right a good example is actually theta itself right when we go back to theta we have it right we can see one right here. 
right, where you have an A, B, C, took out the, the low and an expanded flat, and then we also have a running flat here, right, and we, and we called this pretty well, because uh, we came up, we had a top, and then we chop, 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 we broke the top, but it wasn't impulsive, it was choppy, right, so here's your top, and you break the top, and we couldn't get going in here, so we came all the way back down. So this is an A, B, C, a, a, a technically a running flat because it didn't take out the low, but basically same type of deal here. So that's kind of where we are on the on the smaller time frame. I mean, looking at the two day chart again, we're you know we're right back up to these local highs. Um, looking at the daily real fast, I mean. Basically, the big goal we have for this week is to break above this high. That's all we got to do, right? So maybe maybe we pull back in here, then break out. I mean, we can theoretically come all the way down and retest the bull market support band before breaking out, right? Kind of develop a base in here, which would be totally fine, right? Um, so it's yet to be the case. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know how it's going to shape up, but it's looking, it's looking good, right? So going to the weekly chart, we had the weekly close. Look at the weekly close. This is the most important part. I mean, look at that. That is a mega bullish hammer candle that not only finished potentially the, the C leg, but it also was a liquidity grab. It also back tested the bull market support bin and it's a hammer candle. Right. So, I mean, it, it's it's looking good. I mean, if we look at Theta Fuel, um, not really too interesting. We talked about that. Uh, let's see. Theta itself. See, look at Theta. On the weekly chart, we are starting to form a base in here. So you can see we have one, two, three. Four. And now this is the fifth week of being in this base. So actually it's it's getting good for a markup phase. Um, so hopefully maybe this week or maybe next week we can we can start to see the retracement areas get challenged because if I put this down here, we want to see um, this area right in here between the 618 and really the 886 so all in there um that's basically what we want to see get hit within the next i would say two weeks so let's start you know getting some momentum here you know we've had enough consolidation we first of all we had a 55 percent drop second of all we hit the bull market support band third of all the whole market had a liquidation event on this time Fourth of all, Bitcoin hit the bull market support band, right? Sixth of all, we're, we're, we're starting to develop a base on the bull market support band. Seventh of all, we can see, I mean, we can see Bitcoin, right, on the smaller time frame, getting back above or back to its resistance area. So let me put that right there. So to me, right, we have a shoulder, a shoulder, a head, a shoulder. Maybe we're coming down and developing another shoulder, right? So that's what we want to see over the next couple days is that get formed and then hopefully continue breaking out. So I was going to talk about, I'm going to do, you know, sort of an altcoin, mostly I think XRP. But instead of doing it on this video, since it's a part two for Theta, I'm just going to do it on a separate video. Um, so, I mean, I don't know a lot of Theta people who like XRP, and I don't really know a lot of XRP people, XRP people who like Theta. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of a rare thing. But uh, when I look at Bitcoin on the smaller time frame, it's actually looking good. It's actually looking decent here. Um, let's see if I turn on. Yeah, we're getting bullish divergence here on the smaller time frame. Let's go up a little bit. So you can see kind of, I mean, I don't think it's finished yet. 
I think we need one more dump, but you can see how the price is going down. RSI is sort of trending up a little bit. You can see here. So that's actually looking pretty good. I mean, this fractal here, or this price action kind of reminds me of how it, for example, we come up and we're, we're sort of drizzling down here, right? In this descending channel. So you can kind of have, you can kind of see that here, right? Where we came up, right? And we're drizzling down in this descending channel and then bam, we had a big flush out and then we continued higher. So if we were to, you know, match this up with the 10 minute chart, just an idea that I'm not saying this is going to happen. This is just an idea. Then maybe we can see not something so drastic but maybe another hit to the low like that right and that would be one two three four and five make a little base in here and then start to get out of there and that would be a beautiful beautiful expanded flat so we have a come up for b uh one two three four five finish up wave c and then let's go right so maybe i mean maybe we can finish up potentially today or tomorrow um you know who knows well I, i'm not a, i'm not a time analysis i mean it could take longer this a, again this could be more complex where you know we have one two three right maybe three is not finished we can come up again one two three right before getting another one two three so it can be an a and b c just something bigger Maybe it back test this area down in here before then going up, developing another shoulder, maybe a shoulder, another shoulder, just like how this was a shoulder, another shoulder. So a couple different possibilities that can occur. So we'll we'll keep we'll keep an eye on it there. But yeah, looking at the smaller time frame on the 30 minute chart, let's see. Do we have divergence? No, we don't. Not really. I mean, not so much, but uh it's starting to look like, you know, creating some type of base in here. And usually, like I said, what happens is you kind of come down, hit the hit the bottom before coming back up. So, so far it looks good. Uh, someone told me to look at Ethereum real fast. It does have that same look, that same type of flat look. And I know somebody who went long. On Ethereum down in here and they are a very well experienced trader so we'll see if that trade played out obviously there's stop losses right here um, I'm personally not long yet I might go long at some point I, I didn't get the good entry that I wanted I want to see a little bit more proof but it's looking good I mean we have an ABC boom 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 so ABC we have an expanded flat and this came down pretty strong and, you know, we came right here, we took out this low, and we're kind of resting below it. It's got the impression of a, of a liquidity graph. So I want to see a little bit more evidence. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. But as far, this is the micro. Remember, the micro can go any way. The macro is looking very good. Let's look at the weekly. The number one altcoin is Ethereum. Let's look at the weekly chart. I mean, we can see... The current week isn't so good because we're trading below the previous week, but you know it's it's we're still ranging in here above the bull market support band, so it's it's looking good. So I've been looking at Ethereum Classic. I wanted to show a fractal on that, something on Total Three. Theta is up about one percent, but look at uh, XRP was up about five percent today. Uh, XRP versus Bitcoin and I know I mean if we look at the smaller time frame well we'll talk about this um, on the next video but yeah we're, it's still kind of following our, our fractal in here I didn't expect a pump like this I would have more expecting something more down in here before pumping up um, there's a fractal I wanted to share and uh, so um, I think that'll wrap it up. I'll probably do another video more on XRP if you're interested in that. I'll probably get that out today or worst case tomorrow and uh, talk about a 
few other charts maybe we'll see what happens but yeah i got the part two out and uh hopefully you guys enjoyed i mean again we're really looking good for the theta and theta fuel fractal we'll keep an eye on it but you know anytime i do part one part two the kind of the algorithm gets um sort of overwhelmed i guess so it's not so impactful so if you can hit that like button it really helps it out and also if you want to support the channel you can always do so through the t youtube tip jar and other than that i will catch you guys on the next one cheers <laughs>